All right, so let's test out all the let's test out the variety of flavors of orange. So that can sit there while we're going through this. I think I'll do the square pile style flavorings first because those are going to just be easier to get out of the way. Well, that's going to work out. But let's try the Kool Aid product first. Kool Aid orange, sugar free. And we're going to mix these warm because it's winter time and it's nice to have a good warm beverage. And a nice orange beverage is particularly nice. So I'm going to rinse out the bottle even though this is not going to need it because it's already clean. So I'll get the same treatment. I'll put in a little bit. Test Kool-Aid liquid first. I'm going to give it just one squeeze like they want me to do. Okay, so that's one full squeeze I would say. Push it around a little bit and then finish filling the bottle. There you are, it looks like it mixed really fast. No bubbling up, nothing collecting at the top of the water. And I would say one squirt just about did it. I can really get the flavor, but it could have been a little stronger flavor. And the other problem with the squeeze bottles is the last squeeze is not the same volume as the first squeeze. But I'm going to drink this down just the way it is and see how I like it. So that was Kool-Aid. That was pretty good. Not really a very realistic flavor. It tastes more like an orange popsicle. Or like the Kool-Aid product itself where it's more sweet than it is fruity. Although it's a little bit weak when you try to mix it the way you're directed to. There's a little bit of extra sweetener in your mouth for the aftertaste. Kind of like an orange dreamsicle. So let's try the next one. we are all going to get the same treatment. After every sample, I'm going to rinse out the bottle twice. I'm only going to show you this first time because I don't want to add an extra... 15 minutes of the video is just watching me rinse out the bottle. So you just have to trust that I did this for every single one of these samples. So it's a fair test. And after I rinse out the bottle, I put a little bit in. And now let's try Starburst. Starburst is a very, very popular and famous candy brand. So I'm expecting that this is going to taste more like candy than it's going to taste like fruit. So let's just find out. Let's do a complete squeeze. That looked like a good one. Give it a little bit of a swirl. And then finish the bottle. This mixes well, a little bit of frost at the top of the, uh, across the top and along the edge. Other than that, it's, it's a pretty thick color. Can't really see through it. Let's see how the flavor is. That's actually got a fairly, fairly reasonable, that's actually got a fairly realistic flavor to it. It's almost like a mandarin orange even. A really sweet orange flavor, like a perfectly ripe navel orange. I wasn't expecting that from Starburst. I can definitely taste the sweetness of the candy. So this is more to simulate the experience of eating a Starburst candy than it is to simulate the experience of having orange juice. But that's pretty good.
I like that flavor. That might actually be good enough to be a standard flavor. But I'm suspecting that one of these is going to be more realistic flavor, and I want to go for realism, not sweetness. So let's drink this down and see what else I think about it. So the Starburst was a good combination of sweetness and citrus flavor. Again, a reasonably realistic flavor, but still very candy-like. Almost like a um, dried candy orange rather than a slice of an orange. But a very satisfying experience with that and a decent amount of flavor per squeeze. So, even though I'm, I'm waiting for a more realistic orange flavor, this is a good standard to go by. I may use this as my standard flavor when I do my next video. Let's move on to our next one. We're going to do the last of the squirt bottle style ones. This is Fit and Active, which is the Aldi store brand. You better look at that because it's a little tiny writing on it. And it's all ready for me to put the flavor in. I probably could have squeezed more than that, but it looked like it was going pretty good there. So I'm going to let that be a test squeeze. A little bit of a swirl. And see if that was enough. A little bit of sudsing up at the top of the water where it meets the glass. It's frothing a little bit on top too. I'm going to stir that in before I taste it. Maybe a little light on the flavor. I probably could have gave it a little bit more, but I think this is a pretty good amount. It's got a fair orange taste to it. Also a little more sweet than citrus. I can barely make out the mandarin orange flavor. So the Fit and Active is a very satisfying flavor. It still, it, 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 it doesn't taste natural. It still tastes like you're drinking a powdered orange drink. But it's still pretty satisfying. It's sweet and um, it goes down smooth and doesn't leave as much of a pasty film on the back of your throat. So far all of these have contained aspartame. And to the next one, when you think orange flavor, you think sun-kissed. So let's try mixing up some of the sun-kissed. So I've got the bottle of rinsing ready. shade of orange although not too impressed with coloring I just want to see what it tastes like but this one has a little speck it hasn't dissolved yet so it's it's not completely mixed yet I guess it's going to spoil by the squirt bottles because the squirt bottles don't require any mix time but these powdered drinks are all going to need to be settled in before I taste them behaving okay, I don't see any frost, nothing accumulating on the edge of the glass where the water bead is. So this is ready. That tastes like an orange soda pop. Yeah, it's kind of like a soda pop, like an orange crush. We'll be testing Orange Crusher a little later here, and I know from the experimenting with the grape that it tastes just like the bottled product. So it does taste orangey, but it has a sort of a powdery aftertaste. And dry mouth feel, which is better than sticky. I don't like it when it leaves the sticky as it's doing. This is not really doing that. This actually is going down pretty smooth. A lot of people would recognize this from the old scoop in the bin. 
days of powdered drinks. Now it's in single serve packets. I'm going to stop here and take the time to explain this here. This has got a weird cutout where when you rip it, it doesn't go across the whole width of the packet. Instead, it leaves a notch and then it doesn't pour out very well. I don't know why they do that, but it makes me have to cut all these off. Otherwise, I could tear them all. To be fair, in the pour, I want to have it all come out the way it should. And I try to go through a bottleneck like an hourglass. So they should remove that idea from their packaging. Comes out a little chunkier. Now if I remember Tang, it really didn't taste a lot like oranges. It was a sort of a generic citrus drink that they used to give us before school. I'm hoping it's going to dissolve okay. A little too much water. Alright, this one's foaming up. Actually got a little bit of froth at the top. I can hear the bubbles pop. Definitely, you want to let this settle before you drink it because a lot of your flavor and sweetening is in this foam right now. It needs to settle back in. But I'm not going to make you watch this settle back in. I'm just going to go ahead and take care of that off camera. It's a lot like the regular tang I remember. I figured since it's been a powder drink already in its whole entire history of being a product, they would have that nailed by now. And they pretty much have it. It dissolves well. The flavor is good. It's a realistic citrus flavor. I wouldn't say it tastes like orange necessarily. It does taste like tang. You see the coloring is very thick. I'm not seeing through the bottle. A good balance between sweet and flavor, which I like. They used to have this in grape. I don't know what happened to all the other flavors of tang, but... I'm going to have them come up with one that's actually a little more like orange. This is a good one to use for people who don't know about a drink guy because they've been scooping out of those tins for years. That was Tang living up to its name with a little bit of tanginess to it. Not a realistic flavor unless someday when they grow oranges on the moon maybe they'll taste like that. Next we're going to try Orange Crush. Made famous by R.E.M. I'm going to try this out. I think this is going to be the sweetest. I'm not sure about how authentic the orange taste will be. So let's see what it does. First, let's see what it, first, let's see what it mixes like. Give it a swirl. Look at that. That's a good shade of orange there. It's good color. Mix that back in. Let's see what the orange crust tastes like. Very syrupy. Yeah, very sweet. Very much like a canned beverage. Just way more sweet than fruity. Kind of tastes like little dried candy, like little dried candied oranges. This one seems to not mix up as well as the other ones. It's still frothing up a little bit. And I can tell the syrupiness in the back of my throat that it does have aspartame. That being said, we can go on to the next one. 
I thought it was a really good idea for Skittles to come out with a mixed drink pack like this because their flavors are really well accepted. A lot of people really like Skittles candies and the idea of turning it into a drink is really a novel idea. But let's see how realistic the flavor is. Interesting color. That's the brightest color I've seen yet. Very bright orange color. It's almost really the same color as the packet. Does it look like the same color to you? Form up really big time. Take time for it to settle down, I think. Smells good. You can see it kind of sticking to the glass. I think that's ready to try, so let's see what it tastes like. Now that has a more... That has a more fruity taste to it. It's still very sweet. And it kind of has the... The feel in my mouth that they give from the candies, that waxy feel in my mouth that the candies give. When you chew on them. Somehow that same effect is happening with this drink, which is kind of nice. Goes down some, but it doesn't feel too sticky. Yeah, I think we got a real winner with Skittles. It's got a really realistic navel orange taste to it. It's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. It still tastes like candy more than it tastes like fruit. But the flavor is very satisfying. So now what's next? This is the store brand from Walmart, great value. Is a packet. At first, I thought this was an energy drink because they have an energy drink series that I like a lot. But it turns out it's just orange drink. So then the cover sugar free, low calorie, orange early rise. And the early rise made me think that maybe it had caffeine in it. They're more like lemonades and teas, which I'm not that interested in. I like a lot of flavor. Let me swirl it in. I'm just frothing up a little bit. Looks like a head of beer on top. I think that's Maltitol that does that. So let this settle for a bit and I'll try it out. And it's reasonably calmed down now, so let's get a taste of it. It kind of has a, a powdery, dry kind of the flavor is not that pronounced. It's not necessarily that sweet either. It does taste like orange. And so all these have pretty thick coloring to them. So with the great value, it really stood out as an actual orange drink and not a candy orange drink. It was uh, tasted like a navel orange or like orange concentrate. A little bit of a dry powdery aftertaste to it, chalky aftertaste maybe, but so far that's been the most realistic orange flavor I've had in a packet. So that worked out pretty good. I think that may be my flavor standard if I don't find something better. So next one up is Tampico. 
Tampico Citrus Punch, which says it's got orange in it. Orange, tangerine, lemon. So I guess that still counts. So we're going to do that one. Looks like I got some on the side of the glass there. Just swirl it around and catch it. And fill it up. It took a little longer to dissolve, but you see it's not frothing or leaving a layer of bubbles along the edge of the glass. There are certain oranges that are more tart. This kind of reminds me of that variety of orange, but you can just really taste the lemon. Uh, the tangerine is kind of maybe what I'm tasting, but tangerines are sweeter than that. This is not really very sweet. It's more fruity than sweet, which is good. You can't really call it orange for the sake of comparison because it just tastes a little different. Okay, so now last but certainly not least, literally not least, we have the Meyer store brand orange drink mix, which they decided to make for a two-quart bottle. So I've got a two-quart bottle right here. I'm going to fill it up and shake it up and pour that into the glass so that I can hopefully have a fair comparison. That's a lot of powder to dissolve. All right. Make sure you get a little bit, get it to sink. I don't want it all floating on top like an iceberg. It's like a powder iceberg right now. This is the tin it comes in. You can see by looking at the bottom that it's dissolved pretty well. I don't see any chunks there. It's been stuck to the bottom. So let me rinse out the glass and get ready to test this. Looks like orange juice. So let's see what it tastes like. Well, it's kind of a mild, mild flavor. I think I'm tasting the powdery aftertaste of the sweetener. It has a reasonably good, realistic orange taste to it. Maybe a less popular variety of orange. But not quite as sweet. Certainly not sweet like the Skittles or the Crush would be. But not quite the effect of drinking orange juice either. It's just... The flavor is just not quite there. And the flavor is a little bit weak. Especially after, especially after drinking the Skittles, you gotta... You got a taste for a strong flavor, and I like strong flavors. So maybe I might have put too much water in it, so I'm going to let it go a little longer, drink this down. Make sure nothing's settling in the two-quart bottle. It's doing pretty good. This is like, it, it just tastes more like tang than it tastes like orange juice. 
which is still useful to have, but if I want to taste the dry aftertaste like that, I want to have energy included as well, maybe some caffeine or something. But none of these have any energy component to them at all. That's coming up in the next video. So stay tuned, click the like button, hit the bell, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Here's a chart that you can use to compare them. This might be obscured by some of the things that are overlaid by YouTube, so go to the website following the link below and go see the chart and the rest of this article.